Okay, once we've established the basics of a good swing, the elements, we've gotten a good routine, we have our feet, knees, hands, deep breath, good process to the swing, we know what to do now once the pitcher is getting ready, once he starts to throw the ball and when the ball is in the air, how to hit the ball properly. Now we have to talk about how to use that swing. One thing is having the swing, the other is how to use the swing. So what we're working here is timing. To me, the definition of timing for, for a hitter is how to put the bat in the same space as the ball when the ball is there. Probably you'll see a lot of young hitters, they have great swings but no timing. So all they do is look good striking out. Then you might see other hitters who have horrible swings but great timing. Those guys might hit the ball when they're young, but as they mature and the pitching gets better, that's going to change. So what we're going to work with Jake is a simple little drill. All you need is a, a bucket, a hitter, and some baseballs, and basically we can simulate the timing of a pitching motion with the hitter. So let me show you how that works. We're simply going to have our hitter standing in the batter's box. We're going to be about, ah, about a foot off the plate, slightly in front of the plate where you can deliver the ball. Now for the coach, what the real important part here is, is to make sure you deliver the ball in a consistent fashion every time. So Jake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the baseball one. I'm the, at this point in time, you're going to lift the bat off your shoulder like you would in a game. Now I'm going to drop the ball down to this place two. And when the ball gets to that spot, you're going to take your step and load. And the next thing is the ball is going to come up out of my hand. And when the ball's at the top of its flight, you're going to hit a good line drive. Go ahead and relax for a second. So again, what it's going to be, it's going to be one, two, three. Now for coaches and dads, what this allows you to do is to simulate a pitcher's motion. All pitchers delivery have the same tempo each time they throw the ball. If we can teach a young hitter how to work with the rhythm and tempo of my soft toss, it becomes really easy for them in the course of a game to do the same thing and time the pitcher. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So what I want to do, Jake, is we're going to check your feet, check your knees, your grip, point those fingers out, make sure we're in good position. We're going to take a deep breath and relax. Now when I show you the ball, you'll lift your bat, lower the ball, you're going to step, and then you're going to swing and hit the ball. You ready? So it's one, two, three. Nice and simple, just like that.